Hey what's up guys, OSG here with another video and today we will be looking at the 10 most goriest Amiga games ever made, well in my opinion anyway. Unlike the day when gore and violence were in kids games, back then the sight of a bit blood was a real money spinner for publishers and for us kids at the time, the gorier the better. So as a request from Fenrir, I've trawled the Amiga catalogue and come up with the cream of a crop of blood and guts games. I've also put them in order of goriness, so that's not order of how good they are, however the top place takes it on both goriness and greatness. Anyway, enough talking about gore, let's see some blood and guts as we take a look at the 10 most goriest Amiga games in order of goriness. Kicking us off in 10th place is Barbarian the Ultimate Warrior. In terms of gore this one might seem a bit timid, but really it's the granddaddy of all gory games. I mean, which kid didn't play this back in the 80s on one system or another? And the goal was to do that decapitation move so you could see the head lopped off and then kicked off the screen by that reptile dude. Oh, and I never miss a chance of getting Maria Whitaker on a thumbnail either. Ninth place is taken by Damage, the sadistic butchering of humanity. This one and the next game are super violent, but due to the scale of the game, the gore doesn't register as high on the shock scale. Even so, this is one gory game as you massacre everyone in sight. Even though it's in ninth place, if it went on adult content, this one would probably be top, as it's gritty as hell. In 8th place we have Walker. This game is often overlooked in lists about gore, but it has boatloads of it. Like damage, the scale does detract from just how violent and gory this game is, as you fight your way through hordes of soldiers in your mech Walker. It's also a class game on the gameplay scale too, so if you haven't played Walker, it's a must play, and the gore is a bonus. Frank Gore The Crazy Revenge is in 7th place. So this game has gore, violence and some of the most hilariously drawn graphics I've ever seen. It's by some Polish developers who are also responsible for the next game on the list, which I'm sure you will see the similarities. Thing is, under the graphics is a pretty solid beat em up with shed loads of blood and guts. Oh, and for some reason, the main character likes to shout F off every 2 seconds. Sixth place is taken by Doorman. It's obvious from the off that this is a follow up to Franco, but instead of being a final fight clone, this one goes down the golden axe route. Again, under the graphics, which again, are like something you may have on the fridge that the kids brought home from nursery, the gameplay isn't that bad, and because we now have swords, we have even more gore, and even a decap move. In 5th place we have Technocop. For its release year it didn't get no more violent or gory than this. I mean it was released the same year as Barbarian and it makes that game look like Barney the Dinosaur in terms of violence and gore. It's an ok game but really I wouldn't play this apart from one reason and that's all the blood and guts. Yeah. 
Bloodfest is in 4th position. This is a super violent and gory RPG. Because it wasn't commercial, Mellow Chips didn't have to worry about censorship and it's a good thing as this one is brutal with blood and guts everywhere you look. Again, this is a good game to play too and if you like the RPG genre then you will have a bloody blast with this. Third place is taken by Mortal Kombat 2. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 1 could have been on here as it's one of the most controversial games of its time with the gore, but for me, Mortal Kombat 2 has miles more. Yeah, we have the same blood and gore in the fighting scenes, but the death moves gore is on another level, which has earned this game third place on this list. In second place we have Gloom Deluxe. Any game that has a messy or meaty graphics setting is teeing you up for a complete gore fest and in this Doom clone we got that. The enemies explode into bits and you are left with arms, legs, torsos and heads all over the place. The game itself is great too and one of the best first person shooters on the Amiga 1200. And now, in first place, we have Moonstone. Not only is this the most goriest game on the list, but it's also the best game on the list, and the scariest too. The amount of time me and my mates spend playing this game is no one's business, and the gore is on another level. Chopping heads off, cutting people in half, getting impaled on spears, it has it all. And also that ground monster makes you shit your pants. Okay that's it for this video, I hope it's quenched your appetite for blood and guts. Let me know in the comments below what games you can remember being gory, and please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Oh, and if you would like to become a Patreon like these bloodsuckers going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where you can pledge for as little as $1. That will get you perks like your name in the Omega Crack Draw, end credits, video requests, giveaways and more in the future. Till next time this is OSG, signing out.